you ever find yourself doing endless past paper questions but simply not improving? Well, let me tell you the real secret to success and why doing past paper questions is simply not enough. Let's imagine two students. Student A spends approximately 30 seconds looking at a question before looking up at the mark scheme and simply copying down word for word what's in the mark scheme. If they got a question right, perfect. But if they didn't, they don't really think about why they didn't actually achieve it. On the other hand, student B may not necessarily score the best score first time around, but they're very, very meticulous in understanding why they didn't actually score it. Was it simply a content from a lesson that they've actually missed? Well, then they will do something about it. Is it a problem solving technique, including trigonometry, that they're a little bit rusty on? Well, if that's the case, they would revise the cosine rule. Student B would also keep a meticulous folder of everything that they've scored wrong and the reasons why they scored wrong. Now, even though the two students might initially score the same grade on a homework problem, which one do you think will score the best over long term, i.e. a year or two years? And here lies the secret to improving our problem solving skills. And that is problem solving while we are consciously trying to improve. We must always ask ourselves, why was it that we did not score a question correctly? Did we run out of time? If that's the case, we can practice some more past papers under time conditions. Are we just not very good at longer response questions? Did we just not understand that concept of electric fields deep enough to allow us to solve that problem? Is it small carelessness mistakes that just keep on adding up. Something such as forgetting to square or forgetting to square in your calculator is extremely common and we need to do something about it. Either way, once we're consciously trying to improve and really asking ourselves, why is it that we're failing on that particular question, I guarantee you that this approach will really help you succeed in physics. This is definitely not the whole story though. This approach works incredibly well with a little physics hack and I actually have a separate video for this and this is really, really powerful stuff and this video is right over here.